I recently asked DeepSeek AI to give me a trading strategy to turn $100 into $10,000 as fast as possible. It gave me some generic tips like focusing on highly volatile assets, using technical analysis, and staying disciplined. Yeah, yeah, we all know that, nothing specific. So I decided to be more direct with my request. I asked it to create the best strategy using an AI-based trading view indicator. This indicator has been going viral lately. I also mentioned that the strategy's goal is to grow $100 into $10,000 in the shortest amount of time. DeepSeek AI provided a detailed strategy, but it wasn't perfect, so I made some tweaks. Here's the final setup. To check if the strategy actually works, I will test it 100 times on Ethereum using a three minute time frame. But before we do that, let's open the charts and add the indicators. The strategy includes three free trading view tools, and I will explain how each one works as we add them. For the first indicator, we're adding the machine learning KNN based strategy. Huge credit to the creator for this incredible tool. This indicator leverages machine learning to analyze historical market data and predict the direction of future price movements by identifying patterns within the data. At its core, it uses the K nearest neighbors classification algorithm, which determines the category of a data point based on its closest neighbors in a multi-dimensional feature space. In trading, KNN is particularly useful for predicting whether an asset's price will rise or fall. The process begins with collecting historical price data and converting it into a feature vector, a structured numerical representation of market conditions. These vectors typically include various technical indicators, such as moving averages, the relative strength index, RSI, and momentum indicators. By analyzing these inputs, the KNN algorithm classifies price movements and provides traders with actionable buy and sell signals. One of the biggest advantages of this indicator is that it does not repaint. This means once a signal appears, it remains fixed, providing traders with a reliable framework for decision making. However, it's crucial to wait until the current candle bar closes before confirming the validity of a signal, as premature entries could lead to false trades. The indicator signals are easy to interpret. It prints blue labels for buy signals and pink labels for sell signals. Additionally, the opacity of these labels varies depending on the strength of the signal, helping traders gauge confidence levels at a glance. Despite its strengths, using this indicator alone may result in too many false signals, so it's essential to pair it with additional confirmation tools. This is where the next indicator, the EMA ribbon, comes into play. The Exponential Moving Average, the EMA ribbon, developed by Dominic Ossoletti, is a powerful trading indicator that consists of multiple EMAs plotted on a price chart. This tool is primarily used to determine the strength and direction of a market trend. The EMA ribbon is formed by layering multiple EMAs with different time periods, creating a ribbon-like visual effect. When the ribbon slopes upward, it signals an uptrend, indicating strong bullish momentum. Conversely, when the ribbon slopes downward, it signifies a downtrend, suggesting bearish market conditions. One of the key advantages of the EMA ribbon is its ability to provide clear trend identification. By observing how price interacts with the ribbon, traders can identify potential buy or sell opportunities. If the price consistently remains above the ribbon, it confirms bullish strength, while a price drop below the ribbon suggests a possible bearish reversal. This makes the EMA ribbon a useful tool for trend following strategies, since this indicator includes built in buy and sell signals. And we already have a machine learning based buy sell indicator on the chart. We will disable the EMA ribbons signals to avoid redundancy. Looking at the chart, we can see that this indicator successfully filters out a significant number of false signals, improving the accuracy of our trades. However, some unreliable signals still remain which is why DeepSeek recommends using the Relative Strength Index, RSI, as an additional confirmation tool. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, is a widely used momentum indicator that measures the strength of price movements in a given asset. It is displayed as a line on a chart, ranging from 0 to 100, and helps traders identify overbought and oversold conditions in the market. 
When the RSI value rises above 70, the asset is considered overbought, meaning it may be due for a pullback or reversal. Conversely, when the RSI drops below 30, it indicates an oversold condition, suggesting a potential buying opportunity. For this strategy, we will modify the RSI settings to make it more sensitive, allowing for better trade entries. Instead of using the traditional overbought and oversold levels of 70 and 30, we will adjust the upper band to 60 and the lower band to 40. This refinement helps capture market shifts earlier, reducing lag, and improving the accuracy of entry signals. By tightening these thresholds, we can better filter out false signals and align our trades with the overall trend direction. Now, let's talk about trade entries. For a long trade, several conditions must be met. First, the price must close above the 200 EMA, which serves as a long-term trend filter. The EMA ribbon must also be above the 200 EMA and turn green, confirming the presence of an uptrend. Once these conditions are in place, the price should pull back into the EMA ribbon without closing below the long-term EMA. This pullback allows traders to enter the market at a more favorable price. Next, the machine learning KNN-based strategy must print a blue label, signaling a potential buy opportunity. Additionally, the RSI must be in the oversold territory before the buy signal appears. This ensures that the asset is trading at a discounted price within the uptrend, increasing the probability of a successful trade. Once all these conditions align, a long trade can be executed. The stop loss should be set below the recent swing low to limit risk, while the take profit target should be set at twice the risk. To manage risk effectively, once the price moves in the trader's favor and reaches a quarter of the profit target, the stop loss should be adjusted to break even. For example, if a trader risks 5% of their account per trade, with the goal of making 10%, they should monitor the trade closely. If the price moves in their direction and reaches 2.5% profit, which is a quarter of the total target, the stop loss should be moved to the entry price. This locks in a risk-free trade while still allowing room for potential profit. For short trades, the strategy is reversed. The price and the EMA ribbon must fall below the 200 EMA and the ribbon must turn red, indicating a downtrend. During a pullback, the price must move into the EMA ribbon without closing above the 200 EMA. The RSI should become overbought during this pullback, signaling that the price is at a premium. Once these conditions are met, traders should wait for the machine learning strategy to confirm the sell signal by printing a red label. A key rule to remember is that traders should not enter a short trade if the RSI is still oversold at the moment the sell signal appears. A valid trade setup requires all conditions to align. Once a short trade is executed, the stop loss should be placed above the most recent swing high, and the profit target should be set at twice the risk. Just like in the long trade setup, when a quarter of the profit target is reached, the stop loss should be moved to break even to secure the trade. Now let's look at the back testing results. The starting balance was $100. After 100 trades, the strategy increased the balance to $19,527. Interestingly, this strategy's win rate isn't the highest among those I've tested, but it does carry slightly higher risk. Unlike typical strategies, the risk per trade is set at 5% instead of 2%. This higher risk means larger drawdowns, but it also offers greater rewards. I'm not saying you should risk 5% of your account per trade, especially if you have a larger balance. But if your goal is to grow a small account quickly, this risk might be worth considering. That being said, always forward test on a paper account before using real money. I can't stress enough how important that is. If you want to make serious money with the stock market, you should use high quality research from experts instead of playing around with on open source Chinese AI. I recently partnered with Seeking Alpha, a premium stock market news and research service to get you a $30 discount on their premium membership. It comes with a seven day free trial so you can try it risk free. The discount link is in the description below. Check it out.